Hello everybody, this is Dee from Dee's Delicious Bites, and I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, back, back with another video, mukbang and cooking show. Everybody, let's go, check out my video, if you want to get it right, come join Delicious Bites, check it, check it, video, check out my video. Welcome back to my channel, everyone, if you're new here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell as well, so you never miss out on another delicious bite and if you've been in it for a minute i thank you so much for coming on back father god i thank you so much for this day i thank you for this meal that you have allowed me to receive i thank you for my friends my family and my subscribers father god i just pray the blood of jesus over all our lives right now father god we need you as we always do father god and we ask that you come before us and stand before us against this virus that's going on father god that you protect us we pray a hedge of thorn of protections around our family and our children father god and we just ask that you be with us and stand by us and lord jesus we know that there is nothing that you can't do and that this thing that's going on right now will pass father god i thank you i praise you for everything every single day Amen. So you guys, I am back with another mukbang and today I've got some fried catfish and some coleslaw. Mouth is watering, all ready to go. I have um, some ground ground. It's Saturday. It won't be when you get this video. So I have a little bit of sangria of my making. Okay. That's drinking right nicely. So catfish and coleslaw. And I'm telling you, I've been wanting catfish for a while. I hope everybody is doing well. I thank you so much for watching my haul video. Get your bite of that crispy goodness. It's still smoking, y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thank you, everybody who watch my haul. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. Get you a bite of this slaw. Mm-hmm. I hope you are all doing well, blessed, and highly favored. If I didn't say that, if I did, well, I mean it that much more. I'm going to say it twice. So, you guys, the slaw that I have is the chopped salad kit by Market Side. It's the cherry, almond, gorgonzola, green cabbage, romaine lettuce, kale, red cabbage, carrots, green onions, dried cherries, garlic, um, it said garlic croutons. I don't have no garlic croutons. They done cheated me. Ain't not one crouton in here. Garlic croutons um, and almonds with the creamy gorgonzola dressing. But anyway, it is still good. I mixed it together and then I tasted it and realized it needed a little bit more of a sweet component. Because of the gorgonzola dressing has a bite to it. So, I added in some poppy seed dressing, which I love. And, I added in a big old um, tablespoon and a half of the hemp hearts that I got from Costco. Those hemp seeds. I added in a big old tablespoon and a half of those. Mm. It's good, y'all. It is good. So what have you been doing with your Saturday? Mm. Mm -hmm. This ain't going to be no long video because this is good to me. Mm. 
I was out and about. I went to Walmart. Walgreens. Target. And Joanne Fabrics. It's getting skimpy, y'all. Ain't much left nowhere. As far as cleaning, supri cleaning supplies and canned goods and dry goods, there was still a lot of meat. There was still milk. There's still veg and fruit for right now. Fresh fruit. Sustainable shelf items. Pastas. Bags of beans, bags of rice. That kind of stuff. There was some left, but it was looking, you know, kind of low. Mm. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of seafood stocked up. I usually keep my seafood stock. Shrimp. Um, salmon. Crab legs. I have some canned clams to make chowder. I've got smoked sausage, bacon, breakfast sausage, you know, just stuff. So, I don't eat a lot of meat meat. Like, I do love my chicken. So, I probably need to go buy some of that. But I don't do a lot of steak and things like that. I could use a little more ground beef for spaghetti and lasagna. So, I should probably do that. Other than that, y'all, I'm good. I'm just not, I'm not worried. Because I know whose child I am. I'm a child of the Most High King. I am, and I trust him. I just trust him with all things in my life. So I'm just, I have peace. I hope you guys do too. I filled up my gas tank today for... $10 and some change, half of what it normally would be. That bite. Mm. Mm -hmm. Gas was a dollar ninety seven. And I had 80% in fuel, or 80%, 80 cents off per gallon in fuel perks. So I paid $1.17 for gas. Per gallon. So I was happy about that. This is really good. This um, cherry almond gorgonzola salad. It's a lot kind of deal. And I would definitely buy this again. Mm. You guys, it was so funny. When I was at the gas station, 
I have my gloves on. Um, just winter kind of gloves. Not that it was super cold out, but I knew I was going to be touching stuff and running around doing that. So I had my gloves on and to pump my gas. And it was so funny because I'm in my little burgundy color SUV. And the lady right beside me at the pump, you know, the pump is in the middle, car here, car there. She's in her little burgundy color SUV. And so we had both pumped our gas. I didn't really pay much attention to her. I don't know that she paid any attention to me, but we, we both got done at the same time. We both got in our cars at the same time. I took my gloves off. And you know how you just be curious as to what people are doing. You just know that you see movement out the corner of your eye. I looked over. She was taking her gloves off. I got my hand sanitizer, put it in my hand, and was washing my hands. She got her hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer at the same time, was putting it in her hand, and was rubbing her hands together. And we actually looked over at each other, and it was so funny. We just kind of smiled and nodded and went on about our way. But it was just funny that we were doing the exact same thing at the exact same time in the same way with the same color car. <laughs> and that was just funny. Um, it's not a joke, people. Be safe. Mm. Mm -hmm. Catfish is good. Mm hmm. It wasn't really crazy. People weren't rude. It wasn't crowded really anywhere today. I mean, if you didn't know that this was a pandemic, it really just looked and felt like any other day. I have no clue what I'm cooking tomorrow for Seafood Sunday. It really truly depends on if Sheena's coming over or not. If she's not, if she's working, I'll probably just do some shrimp and rice or something. Something quick, easy, simple. When I get done with this video, I gotta give Coco a bath. And she is just a muddy little mess. She looks like she's wearing boots. And she's a cream colored dog, so her feet should not be brown. But it's wet and rainy here, so when I let her out, she gets muddy. Mmm. So she needs a bath, and that takes forever. She's a small dog, but when I do it, I do it like the groomers do it. She gets her bath. She gets um, her hair cut down. I have clippers just for her. I mean, I do all of that, so it takes a couple hours. 
Mm. Then, of course, I need to do my Saturday night at home spa thing that I do. I usually do my nails, like my, my toenails, I take care, good care of my feet. I'm on them all day. I take good care of my feet. Well, I hope I didn't spit on y'all. I'm sorry if I did. Talking. So I need to do that. I usually do my bubble bath and I do my facial. And I light my candles and I have a glass of wine and I soak in the tub with some Epsom salt and lavender by Dr. I can't think of his name, Dr. Somebody. Dr. Teal, I think. But I use the lavender Epsom salt and the lavender bubble bath. And I'm telling you, it is so relaxing. I light my candle, I get my wine, I get a book, and I just sit in that bubble bath and just release the stress, y'all. During the week, you just shower, 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 because you just got, you know, 10 minutes in and out, get ready for work. But on the weekends, I can do my bubble bath. Mm. I want some biscuits to go with this, but I forgot to get them when I was at the store. And I said I wasn't going back to the store. And I didn't have any kind of... um anything at home like that. I could have made some. That would have been too much. And now that I'm eating it, I realize I didn't need any bread. It would just fill me up and I wouldn't have been able to eat all my fish. Mm. I was in hashtag the cannons live last night. It was really good. A lot of people in there. They're such a sweet couple. I enjoy them. And they're doing so well. Cooking with Tracy did a video a couple of days ago. I was so, so glad to see her. Please continue to stand in the gap with me on her behalf because we still stand and we still pray and she still needs us. So I thank you for that, for prayers that you sent her way. I'm getting full. And I want to read my blessing before my camera try to act fool. So let's see what we got. Be strong through the grace. That God gives you in Jesus Christ. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 1. Be strong through the grace that God gives you in Jesus Christ. May grace and peace be yours in abundance. 2 Peter first verse chapter 2. Excuse me. So you guys... We are going to be strong through the grace. We are going to be strong. Grace is going to help us be strong. And we are going to have that grace and that peace. And we're going to have it in abundance. That was promised to us in 2 Peter by Jesus Christ. We're going to have that. This is a wonderful card for today and in this time. Just reminding us who we are, who, who God is in our lives, and what he can do for us. And what he will do for us. He's no respecter of persons. So if he did it for her, did it for him, did it for her, he'll do it for you. 
So I'm just so happy that this is the card that came up because we do need to be strong through grace right now. There's a lot going on in this world and we need to be strong in Christ. He gives us that strength through his grace. So be strong in that. That brings this video to a close. I hope that was a good word for somebody. I hope it uplifted somebody. I hope it touched someone's heart and someone's spirit. I think I'm going to burp again because you know that's just what I do. Yep, here it comes. Excuse me. So you guys, if you like this content and you'd like to see more from me, please give this video a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Show me out, show me out, show me out, guys. Tell all your friends and family about these delicious bites and maybe they'll stop by and have a delicious bite with me as well. As always, I believe you're capable of so much more than you know. You're capable of kindness. You're capable of strength. You're capable of compassion. So please, try to do those things. Just, you know, doesn't take much. It's easy to do if you really want to do that. So... I say, let's be strong in grace and, and let us just help each other because right now it's a little scary. So until I see you and you see me, be beautiful, be blessed, and be the best you that you can possibly be. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see you in my next one. Hey, my very next one. Bye, guys. See you tomorrow.